Welcome back, subscribers. Best damn barbecue ever. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we are doing Prairie Fresh St. Louis Ribs. We've previously done these. We've done them three, two, one. We did them in a review. Today, we're doing just how-to ribs, no three, two, one. What we're gonna do right now, we get them out of the package. These are Prairie Fresh, by the way. Shout out to Prairie Fresh. We gotta take these membranes off. You can cook them. We just don't advise that you do. Everybody that loves barbecue knows you gotta get that membrane off there. So that's what we're gonna do. One rack at a time. I always go from the side that has the bones poking out more other than this side. I mean, you'll see them on both sides, but the way it tapers off like this, you wanna get it from this side and peel it back towards the, the meat over here. So that's what we're gonna do. I go about three ribs in. It's usually where you could get the best pull back. And you just kinda of work it back. You wanna make sure it's even and then just pull the whole thing off. And you should be left with that. Kind of reveals that meat under there. And you know it's off. Come back and get that little remnant here. You want to get all of it off of there, guys. It matters. And then you move on to the next one. This one's a little odd. It kind of tapers off a little early. It's kind of where the, the ribs were cut. But you got nice square ribs here, so I don't mind this rack at all. We're gonna try to take it from this side and pull it back to the meat just like the other side. Just kind of work your fingers under there. You wanna separate it from all corners, so when you do this pull, you get as clean as a pool as you can. You use the napkin and it has to be dry so you can really get a grip. Perfect. Again, revealing that it kind of has a hue to it and you know the silver skin is gone, guys. Only thing left to do now is season them with that almighty Rack City. We're gonna hit these with Rack City Rub for Ribs from White Bulls Barbecue. Obviously yours truly, me and Ethan. This stuff's amazing, guys. Got an amazing flavor profile. Got some fine, got some coarse. Really does the damn thing on these ribs. We're about to load these up right now. Go get you this at whitepoolsbarbecue.net. We go a little lighter on this side, but we still want that flavor to lock in there. Perfect. Want to give a little more attention to the actual meat. Less meat on this side, guys, but still make sure you get it all over. Gonna let that set in about five minutes, then we're gonna flip them. Got amazing color in there. The flavor's out of this world, guys, and anybody that has got this already, they can attest to that. Such an amazing blend, and it has kind of some AP power, so definitely pick this up. You can put it on fries, 
can put it on a lot of things, but it is the champion when it comes to ribs. So let's get these flipped over. Let's see on the other side and let's get them on the boss. We got this flipped. As you can see, amazing marbling. Very fresh, really makes a great product. They're nice and square, these racks. Look at the way that the marbling just tapers all the way through this. And then you get that real nice beef marbling almost down there. This is almost a literally perfect rack here. Unbelievable. All of that is just flavor city. And that is the destination today, people. Time to hit them with some rack city. I'm gonna hit these twice, give one attention, hit the other one. As that sets in more, I come back and hit it again. Rack looks pretty good. We'll hit that again. You want to get every edge. You want to load it up. This stuff is specifically designed for this kind of not a lot of meat, but it's not got crazy amounts of sauce, so it's not going to overpower it, guys. It's totally okay to load your racks up like that. That's going to be slamming. So again, we got the pit boss rolling at 250. That's been going about at least 20 minutes. We know it's dead center 250. Gonna throw these bad boys on. And we'll come back in an hour and spritz them. Time for a smoke bed. We've probably been away for about an hour. Um, they've been smoking at 250. We're about to hit them with a spritz, straight HTO, which is obviously water. If you didn't know, I don't have to tell you. You know now. We're gonna hit them with water. Nothing crazy. They're already looking good. Make sure you get that back rack. Give it about another hour. I figure we'll be about halfway through and we'll probably spin the rack, spritz them again. But just to be sure, we're gonna take our TP19 real quick. We're gonna see where these are at. It's showing about 170 right now. So figure uh, maybe even in another hour when we do spin them, we'll take them up another rack just to get a little more indirect. Just let them get that slower smoke. But we're gonna stay right at 250, so. We'll be back with a spritz and a flip next time. Let's get it. We're about two hours, two hours and 15 minutes in, guys. We are actually going to probe these real quick. I suspect that they're about ready to move up, like I said. Spin them. I want them just a little bit further away from the heat. This is probably the only time we're going to move them through to cook. And they are looking great. So I'm going to take this rack, put it underneath for a second. Take this. Make sure that you have some good gloves. These are double glove. We're gonna move it right into that slot. The third one from the top, if you have this smoker. And spinning them just kind of combats the hot spots that you're gonna get with any grill. Um, with Pit Boss, even on this vertical, it seems to be on the left side. So we always make sure we spin wherever we're cooking, especially if it's brisket. Actually, we gotta spread some too. Give them a fresh spritz before you close her up. All right, again, the point of moving them another rack is to get them a little more indirect, a little more of a slow render on the back half of this. 
We'll come back in another hour and see where they're at. I think that these are done. We're about at that point. It's been about four and a half hours. We're gonna probe them, look at that. Been rocking the 250 the whole time. Remember, we brought them up one row and then we spun them so they would get a nice even cook. This rack could come to the front and vice versa. We're gonna probe them up with the TP19. Perfect. We try to get our ribs around 205, right in the middle of the rack, obviously between the bones. Perfect. We are gonna pull these off. They look delicious. Let them rest about five minutes. Get you a peek at that, I'll close the smoker up and shut her down. These ribs are worth smacking your mom, or your dad, or your sister, your auntie, your brother. They all can get it for these ribs. All right, that's how these are looking. You got a nice little pullback, and uh, they smell like heaven. Again, I wish you guys could smell this when we give you these recipes, but you just gotta go do it and find out for yourself. This stuff is the truth, all right? It's never told a lie to me. Um, I call it Abe Lincoln, so go get you this because it's the truth. It's the best damn thing you're ever gonna put on rack. So let these rest, we'll be back. We're gonna cut these bad boys open. And of course, we're gonna devour them. In order to cut these perfectly, always flip them over. You get a clear view of all the bones. You know that you could, you know, obviously get a precision cut. Some of these bones turn on you. You can't really tell from the other side. So, super juicy. Yeah. Is a good looking rib. Get you some bark. Looks really good, guys. Last one. And that is a juice factory. Smelling amazing. Looking amazing. Flip these over for you guys. Just to get one last peek. Before we tear these up. They don't even want to cooperate. They just want us to eat them.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are about to dig in. This one's going to E. Like and subscribe, guys, as always. About four and a half, five hour recipe here, 250 all the way. Let's get that end result. We'll see you on the other side. Till next time.